Hey guys, welcome to this video on Chiron in Aquarius. If you have Chiron in Aquarius and your natal chart in astrology, this video is for you. We're going to talk about Chiron, what the mythology means, what it means in astrology, and what it means in the sign of Aquarius. And you can pick the timestamp below to go straight to whatever section of the video you'd like to start with. Chiron in astrology is the wounded healer. Chiron in mythology was a centaur, half man, half horse. He was known as the best centaur. He um, was known for his medicinal knowledge and his ability to heal. He was taken under his wing by Apollo for because his mother abandoned him when he was young for what he looked like. So really, we see the wound happen in the story. Originally, that wound of abandonment. Now, not everyone's Chiron is abandonment, but the idea that you are not good enough in this respect, in Chiron's respect, it was his appearance. But what happened, he ended up being able to heal because, because of that wound. If his mother hadn't left him, he never would have been trained in medicine. So Chiron can be a place in our chart where we are more likely to be able to heal other people because we know the suffering that it took. You know, we know what it, other people go through. We know how bad it is. And how much we heal or how we choose to heal, that is really up to us. And it can take many different forms. So then Chiron ended up getting shot with a poison arrow and he couldn't heal himself, he tried. And he ended up choosing to give up his immortality because he was immortal. So he chose to give that up for Prometheus's freedom and he ended up being placed among the stars and that is how the story goes. And so really the theme that we see, what Chiron means in the natal chart is it's a place where we have a restriction, something that we feel like we're blocked to, and also where energy is poured into it. So it's not just simply an obstacle in our life, but an obstacle in our life, a wound that continues to be activated whenever that pattern comes up until we choose to be aware of it and then consciously dismantle it. So Chiron really does take some conscious work and you know, some of you watching this may have already come far on your Chiron wound. Some people learn this just through their life experience. The best way to use this video is to take what resonates and leave the rest because I'll be giving kind of the most extreme cases for Chiron and it's up to you to see, you know, where you fall on that spectrum, whether it is totally to the extreme or maybe just some of those energies. So that's important in every video because these are general and to get more specific, we'd have to look at, you know, the house your Chiron is in, what the aspects to Chiron are, to really see the full picture of how the Chiron story shows up in your life. So let's move on to the video. So for Chiron in Aquarius, the wound is a feeling different. So someone with Chiron in Aquarius is going to feel more uh, conscientious of the ways that they stand out. They're going to be more aware of the ways that they stand out. They're going to be more sensitive to criticism for how they stand out. And they're going to feel more concerned about not being an outcast or not fitting in. So some of the potential manifestations with this placement are one is just feeling like an outcast, feeling rejected, feeling like you don't fit in, like nowhere you go, you belong. You know, just noticing all the ways that you are different from other people. Even if you might share similarities with other people, you're just going to be more sensitive naturally with this placement to how you um, aren't the same as other people. And any way that someone reacts to you with criticism or anything else about not being like them. So a feeling of aloneness, a feeling of being kind of like alienated, a feeling of being an outcast for some reason, and this can show up in many different forms, this is really common with this placement. So with Chiron, it's a challenge where you feel blocked, but also energy is poured onto it. So you kind of have a complex uh, wherever your Chiron is. So it's like with Chiron and Aquarius, you want to fit in so bad. 
you wish you could fit in, but you feel like you don't or you can't. Even if you are someone who uh, has other people around you who share in your differences, you might still feel like there's just something about you. You know, you might just have that feeling. Another way this placement can manifest is by hiding the things that make you different hiding your uniqueness. So you can eventually, not even on purpose, you can end up putting on a front of like the person who you think you're supposed to be in society, the person you think people won't reject, and you can end up acting like that person and just not sharing openly the things that you expect, you know, people might reject you for. And so this can range on many different topics. So it can be something as simple as you like playing video games, but you don't tell people that because the people you're around might not think you're responsible. Or you like being spiritual, but you have a job where you keep that under wraps and nobody even knows because you know that if you said that at work, it just wouldn't go over well. Now, there are times where that's just a simple survival skill, but for the Chiron and Aquarius person, it becomes more of a, a way of life that you don't feel like you're choosing, where you might actually be hiding things from people and it, it may be conscious, like, oh, I can't tell people this about me, or it may not be conscious. It might be um, just you're not even aware you're doing it. You're not even aware that when you're around a certain group of people, you're just not talking about this other thing. Another thing with this placement is you can actually have this sense of like, I'm so unique, I'm so different, and I'm so much better than everyone. Like, I know more than you do, and, you know, kind of feeling almost like you hide things from people, maybe because of a sense of superiority, because Aquarius is like the mad scientist. It's about knowing, it's about a higher perspective. So sometimes people with Aquarius placements can just feel that, like they don't fit in because they're smarter or because they know more about something and people don't know what they know. And so this can actually be a wound for you where you feel like you can't tell people what you know because it will make you an outcast for um, knowing more than them and you don't wanna make them feel bad or you don't want them to judge you as being like hoity-toity or you know, there's a lot of energy with this placement on what are people gonna think? And what do I know versus what do they know? Um, where do I fit in? And all those things kind of being mashed together. So another way this can manifest is you can um, either be a total loner, you can be someone who keeps to yourself all the time and never gets social, or you can be a social butterfly to overcompensate. Like I don't feel like I fit in, so I'm gonna go do all these things and meet all these people. Or you can go back and forth between the two energies. One moment you're totally isolating, the next moment you are joining in with your friends. This is kind of like a typical Aquarius uh, thing to avoid people, to withdraw, to retreat into the confines of your own mind, to, you know, just kind of need some time away from the crowd where you're thinking about your own thoughts, your own belief systems, your own ways to make society better, uh, or just doing your own thing. There are some points in the life of a Chiron and Aquarius person where you will have a choice to make and it involves some kind of commitment where you're gonna lose your freedom and you might choose the freedom, okay? For Chiron and Aquarius, it's probably likely at some point that you get in a relationship and that point where that person wants to settle down, you're like, no. Or you have a job and, and there's a point where it just, you can only give up so much of your freedom. This does not mean that Chiron and Aquarius people can't settle down, but just that they have to be ready to give up that freedom first. If you don't wanna give up your freedom, you're not giving up your freedom. And if the person leaves, they leave. It's Freedom is one of the most important things in an Aquarius person's life. But with Chiron here, this gives it more of an emotional charge. So you might actually be really sensitive to situations where someone wants more of your time than you wanna give them. If people start attaching, you might wanna disconnect. That is just something that can happen with a Chiron and Aquarius. Another thing here is fighting for social justice or the collective good in any way can become a form of escape for this person. 
So it can actually get so extreme that it's like you're so involved in, in the good of the collective that you're not attending to your own needs. So this is something that Chiron and Aquarius have to watch out for. The real healing for this placement is to really see the ways that you are different and accept those as strengths instead of weaknesses, because this really is the deeper issue here is the feeling that being different somehow is painful, you know, causes you pain, has caused you pain in the past, and you're projecting that it will always be painful. So it's about learning to allow those unique things about yourself to, yourself to be what they are and not make it wrong to be different and to let yourself be unique in the ways that you're unique. And by doing this, you have this potential to really allow other people and really inspire other people to have the freedom to be their selves, to be their unique selves, to really feel good about the things that make you different and not worry quite so much about whether it lets you fit in or not. And the, the irony here is that once you can let go of the emotional charge on being different, because everyone's different, but everyone's the same at the same time. And you know, the things that make us different are the things people like the most about us. And so for, for Chiron and Aquarius, this is not an easy path to allow those things that make you unique and keep it in balance too, where um, sometimes Aquarius can be too rebellious. You know, they can be like, oh, I, I just want to be so different just because, and that can actually be another challenge where it's like, you, you can, you can alienate people that way. So finding a way to heal the feeling of alienation, finding a way to see the differences in everyone, including yourself as positive. And when you do that, you have this gift of really accepting and again, inspiring people to be themselves, to let their you know uniqueness, to let their weirdness shine in a way nobody else can. With this placement, you can become a beacon of light for all the freaks and the weirdos and the different people, the misfits, the people who just don't have a voice or don't feel like they fit in. You can be the person who inspires them all, who makes them feel okay to just be who they are. So that is the gift and the potential of this Chiron. Let me know in a comment below, you guys, if it made sense to you. I love hearing from you. You can also hit that subscribe button and the bell to get more videos like this. I do astrology videos on past lives, on North Nodes, and on Life Purpose. And you can also book a private reading with me using the link in the description box below. And that's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next video.